and welcome back to my channel I'm your host Anna and today I'm trying something completely new um, I bought a whole bunch of really great Dollar Tree flowers and I want to try to make a swag um, so let's see what I can do I'm gonna see what I'm gonna be working with first um, the first things I'm gonna be working with are these and these are those nice long stem ones that I shared with you guys so I'm working with um, three of each two of each color so that's going to be the ends of my swag. So I'm just going to wrap up here with actual wire. I don't have any ties on me. Um, I sent them all to our shop. So I'm going to be using jewelry wire. Okay, the next flowers I'm going to be using are the mums. The mums from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be using um, two of the yellow and two of this really pretty like orange and i think i'm going to try to set them up in this pattern here i was trying to play around with the way that i wanted it to look so far then the last thing i'm going to be using from the dollar tree are the cattails and the cattails um these are the ones that i picked up so um these are the burgundy and uh really pretty mustard yellow so i'm going to be working with these as well so i'm going to play around with the way i want it to look and also, I might incorporate these burlap leaves that I just hauled on my Dollar Tree haul. You get five each, and they do come wired, which is really nice if you're trying to create something that requires wire. Then I may, I'm not too sure because I wanted to put this on a basket. It says Hello Fall, and it is a metal piece, but I might try to incorporate it in my swag. So we're going to see. So I don't know where this is going to take me, but we'll see. Um, this is some of my wire. If I need to get some more, I will. And then these are some of my jewelry tools. I'm just using what I have. You know how that is. You got to just use what you got. Um, it is Sunday. I'm thinking I might want to do it this way. I might want to do it that way. Yeah, that looks kind of pretty. But then this, yeah, it's giving a little bit more depth. When I put the cattails here um, in between these flowers, it's giving it a little bit more depth, which I really like. So let me see if I can incorporate it over here as well. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, so I'm going to try to tie these down first together. And let me see how well I do with this. Okay, so the first thing that I end up wiring were the big ones. Um, so I'm doing the orange, white, and then this combination. And I wanted to wire these together first so I would have a little bit more control. As you can tell, I put the um, jewelry wire here and here. Next, I'm gonna incorporate the cattails. So I'm going to try to see exactly where I wanna put them, like at, at what space. And then I'm gonna wire these up as well I'm trying to see yeah that looks pretty nice that looks yeah that looks pretty nice so it would look something like this a little bit of course I'll play around with it a bit but it would look something like this so I think I'm gonna wire it right here I still have some wire that I cut right here so I'm gonna just wire this up very quickly at least one piece of it with you guys so you can see exactly how I'm doing it. I'm just taking the jewelry wires, what I have on me, then I'm just cutting it. Then I'm just taking my other piece here in my hand just to flatten her out and to keep it together. There we go, see? So now I'm gonna tie it down over here with what I have left over so I don't let that go to waste if I can. We'll see if I can do this. Let's see, might be able to, might, okay, put that down. Actually, I didn't do it properly, there we go. Okay, so I tied these down with the jewelry wire, as you could tell right here. Now the next flowers I wanted to try to introduce were these mums, and I'm really loving this combination. I could incorporate a burgundy mum if I really wanted to um, but I'm not sure if I do because I really like this bright look I really like that bright look so 
I'm trying to figure out how I want to stage these. I want to stage them like that. Yeah, that might look nice because then if I put the little sign there in the middle, it'll kind of, yeah, I think, I think that'll look really pretty, actually. I think that'll look really pretty. I'm going to try to wire this up. I already cut a piece out right here. So I'm going to try to wire this up kind of high on the high end of it. There we go. And we're just going to twist just like you would any other wire. If you're working with actual manual wire like I am, then you can cut this piece if it's too long and just wrap this up around to give it a little extra oomph. Now I usually try to do another tie right here, but I think this will be okay for now because it's holding up quite beautifully. Okay. Now this, if you really wanted to, would you could stop right here if you wanted to do a swag that actually you know, falls down on the stair like this on the bottom of the stair. And then you add either some of these leaves on top or an element. Where is my element? Or an element like this that you hot glue it on top like so. And then that would be your swag for your two um, bottom of the stair poles. You could do something like that just to put it out there. Now I'm going to do this other side and I'll be right back. Now you guys, I want to point something out. What I just noticed was I picked an orange, a, um, this really pretty like neutral and then this burgundy. But on this one, which I'm still trying to build up, I have picked a yellow <laughs> and a neutral and red. So it's going to have a variation, but it's okay because I didn't buy any more than those. But I'm going to continue to work with it because you can always take these babies apart and just redo them if it really looks too crazy. Now I have both my bundles completely wrapped up. Now I'm going to make the connection and decide if I want to add these leaves to them or not. I'm going to play around with it and decide if I even want to put this. At one point I had a little sign that I had bought from the Dollar Tree and I don't know where I placed it. And I was thinking about putting it here in the center. But since I can't find it, let's see what I decide to do next. Okay, so so far what I'm feeling is I took these leaves apart. And again, I'm loving the fact that they're wired so that it really helps within the project. Um, I have everything wired up together, as you can tell right here. So I'm thinking about placing these right here on the outside and then placing these on the inside because I think that looks so, so pretty. And these are made out of burlap. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. And I'm going to see if I can find my sign. If I can't find my sign, I might try to incorporate that metal acorn. Now, just to show you what I'm doing with the leaves, all I'm doing is putting them together just like so on top of each other, letting it go on top a little bit, let it fall out from the top a little bit. Then I'm just taking the ties. I'm wrapping them up around each other twice so they're on together. Then I just take the tie and wrap it around the bottom here. So that's all I'm doing to get this to go on here, just to give you an idea. Now, as you can tell, I chose to use all five pieces just to frame out this whole section. And I wrapped it around here in the middle. Now, the way that I'm thinking, I don't necessarily want to hot glue this on because I might want to take this off and replace the center with something else. So I think I'm going to try to wire this down. So let's see if I could try to wire this down here in the center and then I can remove it and put it on a basket later. Okay guys, so what I did is I wire wrapped this just one time around the L, the two L's, that was the smallest point. So you wouldn't really notice the wire that much. And this is a perfect gift. I then pushed it into the back underneath the leaves and tied it all up. So this is what my fall wreath for my, my swag is going to look like for my fireplace. So I used everything from the Dollar Tree. And as you could tell, this is a really nice big piece. I'm going to see if maybe I could try to put it up so you get a whole look at it. 